Hello, we are talking protein. As you can see, I'm coming to you from the kitchen from my last post talking about the various macros and talking about focusing on protein and how much protein we should be eating. So the minimum, um, it, you know, it's a fair amount. It's a good amount of protein that we really should be trying to get in our diets. So someone asked, actually a few people asked, which is a really, uh, I'm so glad you did, asked like, how do we get that much protein? And that is a really good question. So before I delve into my stash here, I will say that it definitely does take being, you know, planning, being purposeful, mindful about what you're eating and kind of knowing how your day is going to go. So I'm just going to get right to it. Um, I realize like it just makes me so excited standing here and all of the great sources of protein I have that I'm excited to share with you what I use. Um, and again, I just go back to like finding out what works for you. These are some things that I found that help me hit my protein goals and maybe it will help you. So typically in the morning for breakfast, I, it depends if it's a working day or not. So if it's been a working day, I actually found these cups. Sometimes I'll prepare oats ahead of time, but then I found these oats, um, oat cups at Costco. And so it's super easy to just add water and heat it up. And in this cup, because there is flax and chia, um, for this cup, there are seven grams of protein. So that's technically a lower source of protein, as you see as I get into others. Um, this really is more of a carb. There's 33 grams of carb. That's the, the highest of the three macros in this cup. However, um, it's a great source of some healthy carbohydrates. And then what I do in this cup um, or if I make other oats is then I add some of the protein powder that I have in this one here It's called naked way. The brand is naked. They have um, the Pea protein. Uh, I mean they have like a ton of different products. So um, The naked way I love it because these are like really clean ingredients. I mean in this there's Way, <laughs> way protein con concentrate, and that's it. Um, a lot of the protein powders out there have like a ton of ingredients, so really be that's something you really need to pay attention to if you're looking for something um, like protein powder or even protein bars. Um, but this um, protein powder, then in two scoops, there are 25 grams of protein, so that is a really awesome source. So, um, what I've read and found is it's really great in the morning for breakfast to try to shoot for at least. 30 grams of protein um, in your first meal. So right there with the protein powder and this, we've hit that. Um, and that's like super easy, doesn't take much preparation. I mean, if you get these cups, it, water in there, it throw some protein powder in there, you're good to go. And then you could, you know, if you add, I add um, some nuts, some walnut, chopped walnuts in there. You, you can jazz it up as much or as little as you want. So that's one awesome breakfast. The other thing I like to do sometimes for breakfast on the weekends or when I'm not working and I have a little more time is making up like an egg scramble with some veggies. And so we've, of course we've got eggs here. And eggs, you know, definitely are okay. I usually just use one. Let me see if it says in here to help me out. So one egg has six grams of protein. So again, not one egg isn't a super high protein source and there are seven grams of fat. So there's actually really, it's more of a fat than a protein. There's no carbs. So that's really awesome. So I usually just use one egg. And then I love egg whites. I used to get them in like a smaller, like half the size from Costco, but then I've been shopping more at Aldi and with the crazy price of things and I found these this bigger container which I really like um which is like three I don't know three something it's like three twenty nine three forty nine um at Aldi so they finally had them back in stock again for a while they didn't with the whole issue with eggs. So these egg whites are an awesome source because there is no fat, no carbs, this is just protein. And I seriously would use like oftentimes like 250 to 300 grams of the egg whites with one egg. Um, because one serving is technically three tablespoons or 46 grams. And that has 
five grams of protein. So um, once I, you know, that's basically what, five, 25, 35, 25 to 30 grams of protein just in the egg whites I'm using. And then I think it's only around 130 calories. So egg whites are an awesome way to add protein if you're in need of protein and then um, don't add a lot of fat or carbs. Um, you can't say enough about egg whites. I just think they're like a great staple to have. So that's another awesome option. Um, another thing that I will often do here is make a protein shake. Like I just worked out. I'm not super hungry yet, but after working out, definitely want to get some good protein in. And um, this is another protein powder I find I've, that I've liked. And this is actually plant-based. It is Sun Warrior Protein Warrior Blend. And of course, it's chocolate. <laughs> For me, the chocoholic. Um, they have various flavors of this. And again, this is one that um, the health coach I've worked with recommends because um, ingredients are, are pretty good. And um, again, in one scoop, there's 16 grams of protein. So that's pretty awesome in 90 calories. So oftentimes I'll use like one and a half to try to boost that protein up a little bit more. But it's a great way to make any kind of smoothie for on the go. Um, another thing that I've actually started doing because I used to be a nighttime, every night ice cream eater is I will mix some of this up. If I look at my macros, I'm like shy on my protein, sometimes by a lot. Um, then I will mix this up with some water and ice and make it kind of, try to make it kind of like, like an ice cream. So just another fun tip there. Um, I love that. And I will say too, a tip on this is I often, I was getting it on a website called Farm, Farmaca. It's like P-H-A-R-M-A-C-A. -A -A. Um, this past time I couldn't find it because I could often get it there for 20, 25% off. Um, now I've just got it at Vitacost. Dot com and because there's I always have coupons there's always coupon codes for at least 15% off so you really shouldn't have to pay full price for this um, so another to saving money um, and then I will go lastly over here my um, uh, one other protein well this is technically collagen but um, primal kitchen makes some great products um, this is again chocolate, chocolate coconut, um, collagen fuel. I don't use this a tremendous amount. Um, sometimes what I'll do, in fact, I did this morning before my workout is put a scoop um, actually in my coffee and one scoop is 11 grams of protein. So pretty good source. Same thing I'll do sometimes in the evening if I still need a little bit of protein and I might have a little bit of sweet tooth going on. And I will use this basically to make like hot chocolate, especially since it's been colder. Um, use this in a little bit of my um, like Califia toasted coconut milk and water and mix this in there. Maybe add a little cacao powder to make it a little bit more chocolatey and then got like a healthy protein hot chocolate. So, um, of course, we don't just want to be getting our protein from powders and such, but I just think those are some good options because it's tough even just eating whole foods, in my opinion, getting enough protein. And I feel like most people I know usually do some kind of protein shake um, once a day to help boost their protein. But we'll talk about some whole food, healthy sources of protein. And these are gonna involve a lot of um, meats just to be honest there. Um, one of them is, of course, chicken breasts. And chicken breasts are an amazing source of protein. And I mean, 21 grams per serving and no fat. Um, we often like to do chicken thighs as well. So our combination of chicken thighs and chicken breasts, super awesome, easy to do on the grill. So chicken, um, another chicken that I remember that I had when I was prepping my lunches this past week. Um, this again is from Costco. This is uh, chicken breast in, the, in a can. So when I was making kind of my little chicken salad uh, mix for lunch, I was like, oh yeah, I don't even have to cook chicken. Just pop open the can, drain the water. And um, again, in two ounces of this, there's 13 grams of protein. So I use five ounces. So that's whatever that is about well over 30 grams of um, protein. Um, and again, so this is like super easy. I mean, you could use this for like a snack or on the go. Um, 
I think you can tell that I'm all about trying to make it as easy as possible. And then of course we can get into um, some seafood here. Love shrimp. Shrimp is one of the highest sources of protein and really no fat. And again, super easy. I mean, you could again have this as a snack and you can cook it up. You can have a shrimp cocktail. Um, amazing. I mean, it's another great source. Um, and it's also good with your seafood to try to find um, or use wild caught versus farm raised. And of course, salmon is another amazing source. Salmon has is a great source of omega-3s as well. So there is a little bit more fat in this fish. I just want to mention that to be mindful of like when you're planning out your uh, meals. Um, but super awesome, super good too, super tasty. I'll have to share my favorite salmon recipe at some point. And another option here, we've got some cod. So white fish is also amazing. I mean, it's super lean. And it, again, in four ounces of this, 18 grams of protein. So, and, you know, super easy ways. One thing they do with this fish, again, that's super easy. I'm getting so excited talking about this, is cutting up a bunch of vegetables on a, um, basically like cookie sheet, cut up a bunch of vegetables, lay the fish over top and bake it for like 20, 25 minutes in the oven and dinner is done. Let's see, what else do I have here? Um, such good stuff. So I know bone broth has kind of become like in vogue and it has a slightly different taste, but it is a good thing to have on hand. Like when I was sick um, the end of last year, like once you're feeling a little bit better to start getting in a little bit more, it's a great way to try to get in some protein, um, but still pretty light. And um, again, in one cup of this, there's nine grams of protein. So it's a great way, like I recently made soup and I use some bone, bone broth with regular broth. And um, just again, to boost that protein intake. And what else do we got here? I'll go with our, of course, a couple of day, other dairy items. We've got cottage cheese. And then another thing that I love is, you know, non-fat Greek yogurt. Um, those, again, could be used as um, snacks or even with, like, um, this, with Greek yogurt. One thing that you can do is, if for um, even a meal, you can bulk it up enough for meal, but using Greek yogurt and then even sometimes like a protein powder, mix it in there and um, it's kind of like a dessert whip. That can be pretty tasty as well. And then we'll move on to a few, I do have a few plant sources here. Again, they're not as high of protein. It's just, it, if you are, are not eating meat, it is it is just, it's just harder to get in um, that much protein. I mean, I, you know, I listened to a podcast the other day and said, you know, it can be done, but it really takes a lot of focus eating very certain things and um, whatnot. But um, that's not for me to decide. You've got to decide what works for you. I'm just sharing what I do to get my protein and take in. So I already shared with you the one oatmeal cup. And of course we have quinoa, which is an amazing um, grain, it even says on here in the bag, a super grain. And so in a quarter cup of this, there's six grams of protein. Um, this is a great source, you know, something to use, like even instead of rice, um, there's still 27 grams of carbs in this, but, um, with that extra protein, it's, it could be a good thing to use. And then, um, of course, beans, we've got our black beans. And again, in a serving of this, there's seven grams of protein. So black, black beans are wonderful to use as well. And um, what do I have here? And the garbanzo beans. So seven grams of protein in this uh, serving of this as well. So there's a few items here, you know, sometimes adding, this, adding these, you know, to if you are eating meat or whatnot, then you can, you know, or even obviously see we combine our quinoa on that. We've got like 13 grams. So there's just... A lot of different things that you can do and I loved again thank you so much for the question about how do we get in that much protein again it really does take being mindful and it, I can't say enough about tracking your food I know it sounds kind of like it could lead us down a bad road with issues with food or eating disorders and certainly not promoting anything like that but if we don't track or measure things we have no idea 
And it's just really eye-opening. Sometimes you think, or at least I in the past thought like, oh, I eat like a good amount or whatever. And then when you start paying attention, you're like, oh, not really. Um, another tip I would add is eating out, just touching on protein. Because I know when we go out to eat, I try to plan for that and a lot of meals, obviously a lot of restaurants, protein unfortunately is one of the more expensive items. So, excuse me. So in eating out, um, usually most meals at restaurants are gonna be higher in carbs and fat. So what I will do if I know like we're going out to dinner, then during the day I will really try to get a lot of protein in and protein focused meals. Um, I just thought of another awesome tip. These egg life uh, wraps are amazing too. And another thing, I'm just thinking of like, well, we've gone out to eat and I know during the day, like I'm hungry and want to have something, but something maybe a little lighter and protein focused having these egg white wraps and there's some different flavors this is like everything and then there's like italian and then there's probably even plain but i did find these at aldi's actually and one of these is 35 calories and six grams of protein so what i'll do is have like a couple of these with um some turkey or whatnot in in a wrap and i've gotten a good amount of protein it's very satiating again that's the one big thing about protein aside from it um helping with muscle growth is that it's it's it gives us the feeling of being full and satisfied so who doesn't want that so i hope this was really helpful it's getting a bit longer than i intended but there's so much goodness here so much goodness to talk about so please any questions reach out to me i'd love to talk about all of this and i could keep going here but um happy eating protein